Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, Massachusetts. It's Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Carty for the broadcast. John Ritz is our cameraman for today's TVL battle. Holliston comes in to this matchup with a one win, seven loss, and three tie record, five points overall. The Hillers, seven wins, two losses, two ties, 16 points overall. As I welcome in my broadcast partner, Eric Cardi. Eric, it's a younger Hillers team this season. They lost a few key players from last year, but they just seem to have uh, picked up right where they left off last season, uh, just with the consistency and how well they have battled their uh, TVL opponents. Yeah, such a well-rounded team, Tom, and uh, as we've noted a couple times, uh, it's just really impressive to see the speed and the, uh, the ability of these younger kids. They just uh, have really come on strong, and they're really coming into their own here as we uh, get further on into the season. They certainly are, and in their last couple of matchups last Saturday, they tied a tough, gritty Norwood team 3-3, three to three, but then defeated Dover Sherborne by way of the shutout on the road, 5 to nothing. An impressive win over Dover Sherborne on the road, and I think it's one of the toughest things to do is to shut out somebody on the road. <laughs> yeah, not, as they say, not in my house. So when you do that, that's a pretty good, impressive uh, way to do it. It certainly is. We're going to set it down to ice level for the starting lineups and the national anthem. It's just his first to start out as four year business manager. Trying to make it number four, a junior. There it is, your starting lineups and the national anthem. And 
case you missed the starting lineup, so we'll run through them again for the Halston Panthers. The starting defensemen are number four, Tommy Lab, number 15, Connor Heffernan. Starting left winger, number 10, Sam Farrell. Starting center, number 14, Kevin Bellowitz. Starting right winger, number 16, Nick Truslow. And in the net for the Panthers, it is number 29, Nico Quattromoni, a sophomore. For the Hillers, starting defenseman, number six, Andrew Gilbert. Number nine, Cam Jarrett. Starting center, number 11, Sean Walsh. Left winger, number 15, Steven Simos. Right winger, number 19, Tommy Hamlet. And in the net, it is Gray Bailey, the junior goalkeeper for the Hillers. And Gray Bailey has uh, played a great net. Actually, it's Dylan Brand, excuse me, not Gray Bailey. It's the freshman goaltender who has played excellent in that for the Hillers. And we are ready to go. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Carty, high above the ice. John Ritz on camera. These are the fun ones to watch too, Tom, because these kids, uh, as we know, uh, play with each other growing up in the Demons, so they uh, they know each other inside and out. It certainly is. And the, this is one of those rivalry games. I'm expecting uh, some physical hockey here today. And we are underway. The Hillers control off the faceoff. Sean Walsh with possession. Takes it to the near far side of Gilbert. And now digging it out of the corner is Gilbert. Around the hall, and it goes. Walsh gets in there along with Hamblet. Here comes Hamlet trying to sneak it in, and it, that puck's still loose. Chased down along the far side. That's up to Gilbert. And that shot is denied by a Panther. Getting in front of it was Balowitz. And now up the near side is Farrell. And he'll put it to the right of the net. Jammed up along the far side. Simos trying to get it out of there. Lab gets the stick on it. Turning it around for Holliston along the far side was Chuslow. Hamblet along the near side. Now it's picked up by Simos, who is contested. And he was contested by Balowitz. Now Luke Leiden, who just hopped into the game, takes over on defense. He Foro knocked it up for Holliston. Here comes the Hillers. There's Weinstock. Up around the net goes D. Cristofaro. On the far side, Rogers trying to dig it out. Here's Rogers looking for a shot here. He'll leave it behind him with Panthers all over the place. And there's a shot there, a slow roller covered up off the stick of Saparoshitz. Well, it looks like uh, these teams just feeling each other out right now, Eric. Yeah, a little slow start. But I'm sure that uh, won't take long for them to heat up here and get going. Out in front, Weinstock chasing it down along the far side. Cristofaro gets a stick on it. And the Saparosha it goes. He'll put it off the far side boards. Nice uh, new uniforms for Holliston this season, it looks like. Those are sharp. Here comes Spina uh, Sapinaro. Leaves it out in front, and it's turned away. Back to the Holliston zone, it'll float. And that one out in front of the net, and Quattromoni hits it away. And it was Gilbert getting in there. Now along the near side, it is Quinlan. And Quinlan pops that one up. It's pulled down by Di Cristofaro. Gilbert jammed up along the far side. Getting a stick on it there was Sheamus. There's Sheamus. Looks for Quinlan. And now along the far side, it is Aiden Walsh. Recently just hopped into the game as they get some of those third liners in there. Back to the Hiller zone it goes. Sheamus jammed up along the near side corner. And now floating down is Jake Connors. In the possession of Tommy Lab for Holliston right now. Here comes the Panthers, Balowitz. Hiller's changing things up pretty quickly to start off this game, Eric. Yeah, yeah both teams seem to be making quick changes. And now racing up the far side, that's Simos. Hamlet's going to get in there. Back over towards Glyden. And that is going to be a glove save by Quattrimoni. For the tip in front there. That, that last shift, what a just great play by Seamus. Keep that puck in along the boards, using his body to pinch that thing down low. Made a nice pass out front. The Hillers just couldn't get it there. 
Just underway here in the first period, about a little over three minutes in, 11.48 left to go. Sean Walsh on the faceoff, up against Joe Lombardi for Holliston. Hamlet behind the net. He's trying to leave it to his right for Walsh. Simos now on the far side, leaves it for Hamlet out in front of the net. Around he goes to Walsh. Walsh will put it back towards the far side. Luke Glyden's there. And Glyden's going to get a shot off. It's turned away. And here comes Walsh trying to sneak it through. No one was waiting in the slot. So Alston able to steal it away. Sapinaro is there. Sapinaro's going to take a hit from Glyden. That also got a piece of Simos. Great back check by Simos on that play. Up along the near side now. Hamlet leaves it for Walsh. Miller's changing things up a little bit again as Walsh is going to race around and allow the Hillers to transition. Walsh contested by Sam Farrell. I think you want to test the speed of Farrell there. Back to the Halston zone it goes. Here comes Weinstock quickly approaching. It's Weinstock and Rogers along the far side for the Hillers. Now Dan Kirk gets involved in the action. Weinstock racing up, trying to get to it. Now around the net it goes. Heffernan gets a stick on it. Banged up along the far side boards. Dan Kirk trying to dig it out for the Hillers. And he leaves it behind towards Rogers. Loose puck, and it's collected by Sapinaro for Halson. Five minutes into this first period. Scoreless so far. Christopher along the far side. And Shot there, turned away by Brand. Dylan Brand has just been fantastic in net this season. He's been a big part of the Hiller's success. Steve Cristofaro along the far side, and now it gets by him. Rogers trying to track it down. And nice hit by Rogers on Jackie Gone, or Jackson Gone, rather. A lot of. Uh, Halston names sound familiar from the Panthers football team, which had a great season. Along the far side, that's Jackson gone. Speaking of Halston football players. Knocked down by Sheamus. And hit back up by DeCristofaro. Back and forth we go. DeCristofaro is able to get it away before Quinlan approaches. Sheamus will track it down. There's Aiden Walsh getting involved now along the near side. That's Jarrett. Getting a stick on it there was Jackson gone for Holliston. Miller is able to clear the zone. And both teams right now, Tom, not quite sharp with the passes and the positioning and basically turning it over to each other right now. But I'm we look for the Hillers to start using that speed in the forecheck to make some turnovers. Simos leaves it out in front. He was looking for Hamlet there. Hamlet nearly was able to get the stick on it to try to poke it in. Here comes Hamlet, quickly approaching, backhander, and it is wrapped up. Simos was trying to get the stick on it, but Quattromoni got the glove down just before. And good work by Hamlet in the corner, able to fight that uh, defenseman off and walk out and get a decent shot off, a little bit of a screen. Five to one in shots on net in favor of the Hillers. Alston led by head coach Dan Gary. Hillers, of course, led by head coach Chris McPherson. Saparoshitz, that's turned away. Along the near side, that is Simos. And now in the corner, that's Hamlet, jammed up with Balowitz. Hamlet pokes it up to Saparoshitz. Saparoshitz with a backhander, and it is turned away by Quattromoni. Walsh along the far side corner, puts it over to Glyden. Glyden's going to take a shot here. And that one's right up, out in front of the net. And it is picked up by Walsh, trying to poke it in just wide to the left. Well, that was left in the danger zone for quite a bit for Holliston. <laughs> just sitting there. Walsh and Simos doing battle along the far side boards. And it's turned away by Heffernan, and that'll draw the whistle. And Hill is picking up the intensity now. They're really at their best, Tom, and they, they're able to get that puck quickly up the boards, they use the defenseman well, and they just move the puck and get it to the open guy. When they're making those crisp passes, and they give themselves some opening in front, get some nice shots on net. Well, the 
face off off the icing. Dan Kirk up against Joe Lombardi. Seamus just waiting back there. Weinstock gets the stick on it. It's picked up behind the net by DeCristofaro. Rogers and Kirk along the corner. Now Weinstock along the near side. Pokes it off the boards, trying to get it over to Rogers. Now racing around the net is Weinstock. He'll put it towards Gilbert, but got away a little bit. Gilbert up the far side, just off the stick of Walsh it goes. Or excuse me, Rogers. Now up along the near side, here comes Holliston trying to race into Hiller's territory, but Quinlan has something to say about that. And now Aiden Walsh with possession. Pass over to Gilbert. Gets it around the boards, and Quattromoni came a little bit far out of the net to get a stick on it. De Cristofaro, one of the captains for Holliston, gets a stick on it along the far side. And Pillars respond right away as Leiden was there. And now Quinlan trying to track it down behind the net. Along the corner, here comes Quinlan up against Sapanaro. Sapanaro racing up the ice, puts it off the glass. And we'll have a whistle. Icing didn't quite make the red line before he dumped yep. that in there. But uh, Hill has definitely now got a, a little bit quicker pace to their game. And, you can see him sending two guys in on the forecheck, and they're just going to look to wear Hollison down in their own end when they bring that pressure for some turnovers. Well, they got Walsh and Simos as well as Hamlet back out there. So I think they're looking for a goal here. Walsh jammed up along the corner. Well, the Panthers, uh, they're showing off some pretty good speed as well. Hamlet trying to sneak it around. Puts that wide to the right. Simos will pick it up. Along the corner, getting the stick on it for Hollis. It was Heffernan. Hamlet along the far side. Simos now jammed up a little bit. And Walsh was trying to sneak it out towards the slot. Here comes Holliston. Approaching five and a half left to go in this first period. Scoreless so far between the Hillers and the Panthers of Holliston. Along the near side, and the Hillers are quickly going to get it out of their zone. Here comes Cam Jarrett. Jarrett racing up the ice to the circle, leaves it out in front for Walsh, and it's covered up by Quattrimoni. Oh, Walsh couldn't uh, quite get the shot he wanted on that one. Yeah, looking for a little redirect. A nice pass coming to the center there. Got the stick blade on it, just didn't get enough to uh, turn it towards the open corner. But again, Hill is coming with speed. And Kirk up against Lombardi. Saparoschitz got away from him a little bit. Put it back towards Kirk. Weinstock gets involved in the action now along the far side. That's Gilbert. Up behind the net. Rogers trying to turn it around. And he's being followed by Lombardi. Puts it to Saparoschitz. Pass over to Gilbert. Gilbert pokes it off the boards towards Kirk. Kirk going to take a hit there. It's stolen away by Lombardi. And Gilbert able to get a stick on it, but now here comes the Panthers racing into the Hiller zone, into the circle. That shot wide to the right. It was off the stick of Brennan Gary, and now racing up the near side. Here comes Dan Kirk. Kirk able to sneak around the lone Panther, and he puts that one a little bit too high. Looked like a Cam Neely power move there. Just ran over the defenseman. Went right through him. You can't run around or run <laughs> through him, right? And he kept on going. He had a shot at the top corner, just missed it a little high. I'd say uh, some good shots so far by the Hillers. Jake Connors in for the faceoff. For Hopkinton. He was up against Balowitz. I think Coach McPherson's going to give everyone some good playing time today. Now racing up the ice, it's Farrell. Farrell looking for a shot here. He's turned away by Sheamus. Nice defensive move there by Sheamus. I think he's going to go. I think he got a little bit of a hook on him. Oh. So Hollison will have the man advantage. Well, I guess it's better than giving up a goal. Yeah, he came through with speed. 4.14 left to go in the first period. Hollison will... Have the man advantage for the next two minutes. Sneak. 
I think uh, you said it right when you said that these players should know each other quite well. And they seem to be playing like that. Gilbert sneaks it around the far side. Picked up by Quattromoni. This duo out here of Simos and <coughs> Walsh. We can also see a shorty. Well, on the far side now, here comes Hollison. Walsh is going to turn it away. Well, Hillers, they've been pretty good on the power play this year, but they have given up some big goals as well. So they're certainly going to have to hold their own here. Paulson making the push up the ice. Here comes Balowitz. Balowitz with a shot, and that is turned away by Brand. Got a piece of his leg pad, I believe. Walsh trying to steal it away. He's tripped up. Another shot here, and that one's wide to the left off the stick of Heffernan. Along the near side, D. Cristofaro. Gilbert will put it around the boards. Nice play by Simos just to tip that thing out for a change. Less than a minute left to go on the power play for Hollison. Walsh jammed up behind the net. And Walsh, I think, is just going to hold it there for as long as he can, let that power play run down. Yeah, he's been out there a long time. Got to come off for a change now. On the near side, here comes Sapanaro. Leave it out in front. There's Lombardi trying to sneak in a shot, but Gilbert had something to say about that. Gilbert rings it around the boards once again. Along the far side, De Cristofaro gets a stick on it. Wide to the left it goes. Jammed up along the near side now. Up behind the net it goes. Jarrett gets a stick on it, and we'll have a whistle here. We're going to have another penalty. Looks like he's going to call Gilbert. Oh, boy. Not quite sure for him. He's looking to make a check there. I don't know what they're going to call him from. Going for a leg check. Never heard that didn't, one. Didn't, didn't quite see. I didn't see him stick the leg out, but apparently the referee saw it. Well, it's a two-man advantage for Hollison for the next 15 seconds, and then they'll have a man advantage for the remaining minute 45. 2.28 left to go in the period still. Big opportunity here for the Panthers. Great play by Simos. That was a big, big effort there to get that one out. I might have burned off at least that first power play. On the far side, effort in. Out in front. And it's turned away. So it's a one-man advantage now for Holliston. De Cristofaro with the shot wide to the left. Poked off the stick of Schneelock as well. Tracking it down along the near side, Jarrett. Now here comes Dan Kirk. Heffernan with possession along the near side. Puts it over towards Schneelock. Schneelock was trying to sneak it around, but the Hillers covering up their zone nicely. They're doing a great job at the blue line, preventing Hollis from even getting it in. About a minute remaining on the power play. A minute and a half to go in the first period. Cristofaro is going to race up the far side. Puts it towards Schneelock. The Lombardi was trying to sneak it around Glyden, but he's denied. Back to the Halston zone it goes. Heffernan. Jake Weinstock in front for the Hillers. Pass over to Lombardi. Over towards Gone. Gone meets up with Simos along the boards. There's Saparoshitz with the backhander. It was off the hand of Heffernan. Simos racing up the near side. Here comes Hollison. 45 seconds and counting left to go in the first period. Simos with a swipe there. Jackson gone, leaves it behind. Saponaro puts it around the boards. All even. Out in front, the Halston zone it goes. Patrimoni gets a stick on it, and Hamlet nearly intercepted it. Dangerous move there by the goalkeeper. Here comes Jarrett. Jarrett racing up. Into the slot, Hamlet with a shot, and it's covered up by Quattromoni. Oh, nice play, get that pack right out front. Good opportunity for the Hillers. 
But what a great penalty kill. Uh, the Hillers just did a great job of massing along the blue line. Just did not let Hollison get that puck in. Certainly did. 3.2 seconds left to go in the first period. We remain scoreless between the Hillers and Holliston. But Hopkinton has successfully killed off a couple power plays. They've had some great shots on net. 14 to 3 advantage as far as shots on net. And that'll do it for the first period. Well, good battle, good physical hockey game between Holliston and Hopkinton for the first 15 minutes. We'll take a timeout. You're tuned in to Hiller's Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. We are set for the second period between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Holliston Panthers. We're scoreless heading into the second frame. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Cardi on the call. John Ritz is our cameraman. Well, it was a pretty uh, physical first period. It seemed like both teams just kind of feeling each other out a little bit, Eric. Yeah, a little bit of a slow start for the Hillers, but then they really picked it up. Uh, big momentum off that uh, penalty kill when they were down two guys, and I think the Hill is just going to try to wear them out. They've got that speed, they've got the four check. They're just going to go to work down low in that zone, and uh, they're getting some good shots on that, so they're going to be able to get some in if they keep that up. And the trainer was checking out Sean Walsh a little bit at the break, but he is back out there. It seems to be okay, which is certainly good news. And they had Rogers out there briefly. He was going to come in for Walsh in case Walsh could not start the period. But Walsh will indeed be ready for the faceoff against Kevin Balowitz. And we are underway in the second period. Here comes Walsh on a breakaway along the far side. There's a shot, and it's wrapped up by Quattrimoni. Maybe a little ploy there. <laughs> he looks pretty good. Yeah, it was a pretty good wrister to me. Hiller is certainly dominating with shots on goal. The number keeps changing on the scoreboard, but I'd say it's about 15 to three. On the far side, and that's turned away out in front. That was off the stick of uh, Jarrett, and then it's off the top of the net, off the stick of Hamblin. Well, good chances there for the Hillers. Hamblin turns it around to Walsh, jammed up along the corner. Here comes Simos. Hiller is coming out aggressive to start off this second period. They want to get some goals on the scoreboard here. Jarrett, Rister turned away. That one wide to the left by Gilbert. There's Jarrett with a hard shot there. Some good power on that one. Along the near side now, Walsh able to sneak it back away. And the Hillers keep it in Hollison territory, and there's a shot. A little bit wide there by Walsh. Along the corner, and Tommy Lab gets a stick on it for Hollison, and then it was put in front of the net by Hamlet. It kind of bounced all over the place. And now here comes Lab. He'll take a hit from Simos. Saparoshitz tracks it down. Run in front. Left for Hamlet. And that shot's going to be covered up by Quattrimoni. Now the Hill is definitely a lot quicker start to this period than the first period, Tom. They are looking hungry now. They're really coming out with the eye of the tiger now. Well, I'm sure Coach McPherson had some words of encouragement. Dan Kirk up against Joe Lombardi. Along the corner, that's Jackson gone. Hollison trying to make a run. And we've got a nice hit. Back to Hollison territory we go. Pretty good crowd on hand this afternoon for some Saturday evening hockey. Dan Kirk up against Joe Lombardi. And the official having Halston switch up uh, who's in the faceoff circle. They have seven hour there. There's a shot by Weinstock out in front, and I believe it's covered up. 
and uh, the net was dislodged as well. We will have a face-off in the Holliston zone. And I think they're checking in on the goalie. He might have got a little shooken up there. Patrimony took a bit of a hit. He was going in hard for the rebound. Dan Kirk up against Joe Lombardi. Along the far side, Kirk leaves it behind for Rogers. Kirk and Rogers trying to dig it out of there. Now here comes Holliston racing up at Saponaro. And he'll be pushed away by Saparoshitz. Yes, nice defensive play. Along the near side, it's Weinstock. And Rogers. And now here comes Hopkinson once again. Pass by Saparoshitz over to Rogers. Rogers takes a hit along the corner by De Cristofaro. Jammed up along the near side corner. And we'll have a whistle. I think one of the hills is hurt. We do have an injured player Looks for like Hopkinson. Kyle Rogers. Yeah. Yep, Roger's a little shooken up. Hopefully he's okay. Well, we have a pause in the action. What's your Patriots prediction, Eric? <laughs> it's going to be close. It's going to be a shootout, but I, I like the Pats. They've uh, been there. They know how to win on the road, and they know how to win the big ones. I say 30 to 27 kind of game. Patriots, of course. I think it'll be a little uh, less of a shootout than the last time the Pats played the Chiefs. Face off in the neutral zone. Hopkinson trying to jam it right back into Holliston territory. All kinds of hits along the near side. As Hamlet and Simos teaming up. Here comes Hamlet around the net. Into the corner he goes. Good stick work there over to Gilbert. And Gilbert with the shot, and it's left out in front. Seamus was trying to knock it down. He's denied. Here comes Farrell for Holliston. In the Hopkinson territory, Walsh is there. A missed shot there. Out into the slot it goes. Hamlet able to poke it away towards Simos. Now Walsh. So Seamus getting a stick on it for the Hillers. Now here's Heffernan, he'll knock it up the ice. Over to the far side of Farrell. Farrell with a shot, and that's denied by Brand. Walsh turns it around towards Sheamus. Backhander by Simos. A little over three minutes into this second period. Here's Jarrett. Shot there, turned away. patrimony has been busy in net today. He's made some good saves, though. He has, yeah. The Hill has got to get a little bit more traffic in net. He's getting a good vision on those and making the saves on them. Hoping for a shot there was Brennan Gary for Holliston. He was turned away, denied by Jarrett. Racing over to the puck is Glyden. Glyden will put it to the near side over to Aiden Walsh. Here comes Aiden. Aiden along the near side, some good stick work there. And he was hoping that someone would pick it up. Along the corner it goes. Paulson trying to Somehow worked their way in the Hillers' territory. Connors gets a stick on it. And trying to sneak it in. Nearly a goal there. That was uh, Sapinaro on the shot. Yeah, Brand good to win as he saw that he was going to come out front with that and went down to block that side of the net. That was a really good save by Brand. Along the boards it goes. Luke Glyden will get to it. Backhander pass by De Cristofaro around the boards. Picked up by Jarrett. He'll hold on to it as the Hillers transition. Olsen getting a little bit of momentum in this last couple of minutes, but a knock up the ice there by Aiden Walsh. That'll draw the whistle. Yeah, Panthers become a little bit more physical, trying to see if they can knock the Hillers off their game, neutralize their speed with the, uh, the body. Miller is making some changes. They get Dan Kirk, Kyle Rogers, as well as Jake Weinstock back out there. 
10-01 left to go in the second period. We remain scoreless between Hopkinton and Holliston. It's been a good physical defensive battle so far. Kirk, a nice box out on Schneelock. Zaporoschitz going to flip it up. Here comes Holliston, a shot opportunity here. Turned away by Brand. Goes off the stick of Schneelock. Over to the corner it goes. Gilbert is looking for Rogers, and Rogers takes a hard hit into the boards from Farrell. Weinstock along the far side. Holliston got lucky there. That one looked from behind. De Cristofaro being followed up by Dan Kirk is able to get it away. Rogers along the near side. Here comes Holliston. Racing up is Schneelock. He's turned away. Andrew Gilbert has been so valuable with the Sillers team defensively. Saperoschitz puts that up the far side boards towards Weinstock. Knock up again the Paulson territory. The Hiller's going to switch it up. Sean Walsh, Steve Simos, and Tommy Hamlet back out there. Here comes Hamlet. Up to Walsh, the shot, and it is covered up. Golden opportunity there. Nice play by Tommy Hamlet, breaking up that outlet pass and sending Walsh in. I'll tell you, this sophomore goalie for Holliston, Nico Quattrimoni, he's having quite the day so far in net. Yeah, he's looked real sharp. Clock stopped at 8.51. Walsh over to Hamlet, Rister wide to the left. Simos puts it around, Hamlet out in front. Walsh tracks it down behind the net. Simos shot denied by Lab. And trying to sneak it in there was Walsh. Pass over to the near side of Saponaro. He'll flip it up. Cam Jarrett. Knocks it up the far side. Now here comes Walsh. Walsh racing in. The shot, and it's turned away by Quattrimoni. The net came dislodged. And the uh, Holliston coach yelling at the official that the net is dislodged, and now we'll get the stoppage. And the defenseman there for Holliston, Belanger, they made a real great play with a stick. Walsh, sorry, had Simo streaking. I think he just got enough of the stick on it to keep that from getting over there. That was going to be in the backside. 8.01 left to go in the second period. I'll tell you, also maybe 1-7-3 and three on this season, but they're not playing like it today. We're going to have a face-off in the Hillers zone. Not sure why they're having that one come all the way down. Yeah. I mean, generally, if it's on the offense, you just have it outside the blue line. You don't have it come all the way down to the other end. Maybe it's because it was the Hillers player that dislodged the net, maybe? Yeah, generally, it's just outside the blue line, though. <whistles> Curious to see what that was. And we'll have another whistle here. But their skates locked up for a minute there. Walsh up against Farrell. Tommy Lab along the near side. Cam Jarrett picks it up. Trying to flip it up. Back and forth in the neutral zone. Now here comes Walsh. Walsh racing up the far side of the shot. Turned away. Out in front. <laughs> Another and nice save. A beauty of a save there. Wow. And Walsh getting a little pushy with a couple of the Panthers. Nico Quattrimoni, the hero for Holliston so far. Uh, he's, he's definitely the difference maker now because the, uh, the Hillers are just getting some great opportunities. A perfect rebound right back up front. Walsh was right there where he's supposed to be, but he's coming up big in net. 21 to six Hillers as far as shots are concerned. Pretty big advantage, but we are scoreless. Here comes Sam Farrell. Now racing up is Aiden Walsh. Aiden Walsh was looking to sneak it in there. Now 
Walsh gets to it now out in front. It's loose. Knock up in the air. It's turned away by the goalie. Quinlan got a piece of it. Guatrimoni got a piece of the glove on it. Seven minutes and counting left to go in the second period. Nice against the Hillers. A little too much mustard on it. Yep. Well, the Hillers have certainly won the possession battle, but if it's anything like the Bruins Canadians game the other night, that doesn't matter unless you win the uh, scoring battle. Kirk up against Farrell. Pass over to Rogers along the near side. They'll flip it over to Weinstock. Weinstock racing in. There's a good shot there. Out in front, Walsh nearly was able to get a secondary shot on it. Rogers now along the corner. Flips it around, looking for Dan Kirk. Now Weinstock going to race and try to intercept here, but it's a good stick work. Racing up the ice for the Panthers there was Farrell. Kirk able to pass it up the near side. And that'll draw the ice in. That last play by the Hillers, uh, just a great textbook play. For a perfect face-off win. Uh, moved the puck right up the, from the uh, defenseman over to the wing, and they almost had a two-on-one. Hillers bring the big three back out. Walsh, Simos, and Hamblin. Pass up the near side by... Samos, and we'll have another icing. A lot of stoppages in the second period. Just a couple of misfires on their passes, trying to get the breakout going. 6-12 remaining. It's Walsh up against Sapanaro. We remain scoreless between the Hillers and Holliston. Big TVL battle. Here comes Walsh. Racing up, here he comes. There's a shot wide to the right. Pass by Hamlet, Walsh with the shot turned away. Great feed by Hamlet. Back over to Sheamus, and Sheamus is gonna put that off the leg pad. That's a good shot there from the blue line. Sapanaro racing along the far side for Holliston. Trying to leave it behind, Simos there to intercept. Knocks it around the boards. There's a wrister. Down low. Getting a stick on it was Hamlet. Now here comes Simos. Simos lost it. And now an open break here for Schneelock. Racing in the shot, and it is turned away. And that is dislodged. Cam Jarrett got tripped up and fell right into the net. Jarrett with a great back check, Tom. He got just enough stick of the Holliston forward there just to throw that puck off enough so he didn't get good wood on it. Caught the Hillers on a bit of a change there, but Jarrett made it speed up. Schneelock distance. Yeah, certainly. And Schneelock's had a couple of good shots for Holliston, too. That's not someone you wanting you uh, want to get an open break. Oh, some good physical hockey this afternoon. On the faceoff for the Hillers, it's Jake Connors. Here's a shot, and that is wrapped up by Brand off the stick of Balowitz. Well, Dylan Brand's starting to get a little busier in net. Yeah. Missed an assignment there on the pickup on the faceoff. Top of the circle turned away off of Aiden Walsh. Aiden tracks it down. Leiden gets a stick on it, and it looks like uh, Cam Jarrett maybe a little shooken up. I think his skate's caught in the shirt of the Holliston player. Oh. <laughs> a couple tangle-ups we've had today. Yeah. I guess that's what happens when you get these physical defensive battles. Walsh up against Farrell. Behind the net goes Jarrett. Along the far side, it's Glyden. 
Puts it towards Kyle Rogers. And now Dan Kirk trying to break away. Over to Weinstock. And it's stolen back by Holliston. But Rogers is able to turn it away. Kirk trying to get to it behind the net. And it's flipped up towards Kirk. Rogers with the pass back over to Jarrett. And there's a nice shot there with some good power, but glove saved by Quattrimoni. Halston seems to be doing a little bit better with their forecheck and inhibiting the Hillers from getting their puck out, giving them a little more difficulty. Pressing a little bit more to keep that puck in the Hillers' own. Clock stopped at 4.23 left to go in the second period, and we remain scoreless between the Hillers and Halston. It looks like we have a shooken up Panther. He's going to be helped off by a couple teammates. Certainly hope he's okay. Yeah. I think the blade the might number. have fallen yeah. off. That's uh, Di Cristofaro. Yeah, he yeah. lost his blade. All right, so fortunately no injury. Walsh up against Lombardi. Saparoshitz on the corner. Picked up by Heffernan. On the near side for the Hillers, Gilbert. Panthers trying to attack once again. Racing up and turned away. Simon was quick to get in front of Gary. And now here comes Walsh. Walsh on a break. Along the near side. There he goes. And he was looking for Hamblet. Hamblet leaves it behind him. Less than four minutes left to go now in the second period. Gilbert just missed it there. And now here's Sapanaro on a bit of a break. Gilbert quick to get up ice along with Saparoshitz. Up behind the net is Lombardi, and he's trying to jam it out in front towards Saponaro. Jammed up along the corner. And the knock up there by Hamblet. There's Gilbert. Gilbert flips it up towards Walsh. Hamblet leaves it for Walsh. Here comes Sean Walsh. Shot turned away. Montremoni keeping busy in net. And he has made some tremendous saves today for Hollison. Out in front, here comes Simos. And he was nearly able to sneak it in. I think the Panthers lost sight of the puck there. Jarrett with a shot. Out in front, Simos was trying to jam it in once again. Walsh there. made a great between the legs backwards pass for that shot. Jammed up along the near side corner. The puck's flipped up. Jarrett able to pick it up back ice. Seamus going to get in there. Looks like it's going to be a penalty on the Panthers. Going to call a slash or? Well, the Hillers will have their first man advantage. And this is going to be against Chris Schneelock. So the Hillers will have the extra man for the next two minutes. Dan Kirk in the face-off circle for Hopkinton. Behind the net it goes. Rogers trying to track it down. Picked up along the corner by Jackson Gunn. There's Sheamus getting a shot off. On the near side now, Saparoshitz looking to race in. And he risks that one up in the air, turned away. Rogers behind the net. Back to Saparoshitz. A one-timer there, and it's tied up once again by Quattrimoni, another good save. Yeah, again, you get a clear view of that. Uh, Got to try to either move that puck over to the middle and give your forwards a chance to get in front. Try to get a tip on that. 2.16 left to go in the second period. 1.51 left on the Hiller's power play. Rogers leaves it behind for Sheamus. That one's turned away off the stick of Sheamus. Weinstock was able to poke it back out. Kirk with the steal. Kirk around the net, and he's tripped up. Along the far side, that one sent Sheamus flying back into the boards. Great keep in by Sheamus. Certainly was. Kirk trying to sneak it around over to Saparoshitz. Good luck. Sheamus with the shot, and it's covered up by Quattrimoni. Well, that was uh, pretty good work by the Hillers there, putting the pressure on. Yeah, they definitely get their shots, but uh, 
They're either going to have to do something different uh, with the goalie. They're either going to have to get a big net pressing, uh, presence in front of him so he's not seeing that puck or, or move the puck a little quicker. Well, they got Walsh, Simos, and Hamlet back out there. There's Gilbert with a shot out in front. There's a goal! Picked that deflected off of Hamlet and went in. That's what they needed. Initial shot by Gilbert. The Hamlet, I believe, was able to poke it in. I think you're right. I think Hamlet did get a piece. Yeah, and that, that's what we were just talking about. I mean, that he's seen everything he's seen so far. He's made a great save. He's going to take a, a tip in front, get one by him. So we'll get the official word, but we believe that it's an assist by Andrew Gilbert and a goal by Tommy Hamlet. 1.35 left to go in the second, and the Hillers have the 1-0 lead. We're going to have an official stoppage here to clarify everything and take the power play, the, re the remainder of that power play off the board since the Hillers netted the goal. On the near side, Gilbert. And we get another whistle. And that'll be icing. Face off in the Hiller zone upcoming. Well, that was a great goal there by the Hillers. And Nico Quattromoni's played great in net, but as you said, Eric, traffic in front of the net is key. Hamblet over to Simos. Simos racing in. Simos trying to leave it out in front, and in just wide to the right goes Walsh. Hamlet off the boards, Walsh. Out in front, another shot, that puck's loose. And it was turned away a couple of times by Quattromoni. And now Gilbert's denied. Jarrett, wide to the left. Less than a minute left to go in the second period. Off the near side it goes. Intensity level seems to be picking up another notch. There's Hamlet leaving it for Walsh. Walsh. Around the net, trying to sneak it in. Couldn't get there in time. Good job by De Cristofaro getting a stick in there as well as Lab. That one just wide to the right by Glyden. He had an opening too on the left side of the net. Walsh trying to leave it for Simos. Walsh with a hard hit there on Bellowitz. And we're gonna have a face off for the offsides. 18.5 seconds left. In the second period, the Hillers able to net a goal. That was with 135 remaining. It was Andrew Gilbert on the assist. Tommy Hamlet chipped it in off a beauty of an initial shot by uh, Gilbert. Rogers leaves it behind. Kirk, backhander, and it's covered up. He's looking to go five hole on that one. Hill is continuing with the pressure. They're uh, looking to end this period strong again. 34 to eight as far as shots on goal. On the near side. There's Kirk with a shot and out in front. All kinds of traffic in front of the net. Quattromoni able to cover it up. You had Rodgers and Weinstock there trying to sneak it in. Seems well, like most of the games we do, Tom, the opposing goalie seems to be the big story in right. these games. I don't know. Are we a curse <laughs> of some sort? One second left to go in the second period. So not much time here after the uh, faceoff. Yeah, Simon's got to try to go right for the net here, see if they can get a quick tip. That'll do it. After two periods of play, it's Hopkinton one, Hollis did nothing. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HKM. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. 
Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center in Marlboro. We are ready for the third period. Only one goal in this game so far. The lone goal was scored with a minute 35 left to go in the second period. Tommy Hamlet got the credit for the goal and the assist went to Andrew Gilbert. But Eric, the Hiller is a lot more aggressive in the second period and they certainly dominated the possession battle. Yeah, they did, they really came out and the Panthers are trying to hang in there, but I think the Hillers are going to uh, take a tool in this period. Hillers out shooting the Panthers 36 to 8, but it is still a 1 0 game, so a whole lot of hockey left to be played as that one's knocked out of play. Yeah, anything can happen. And uh, Spotramoni has really kept the, the Panthers in this game, and if you hang around, that's going to be a dangerous team, so for the Hillers to really pick it up. John Walsh up against Farrell. And now, they knock up the boards by Simos. Hamlet along the near side. He met up with uh, Heffernan. And now there's Jarrett. Jarrett trying to sneak a shot in, and it's turned away. And a hard hit along the far side. I think he's going to give him a penalty for that. He's going to call an elbow? Oh, interference. Huh. I don't know if I agree with that one. Well, Halston will have the man advantage. Andrew Gilbert will take a seat. Well, if you're the Panthers, this is where you got a strike, I think, Eric. Yeah, they really do. They, uh, you know, they're getting dominated in the uh, shots department, so they've really got to bring it on this power play if they want to get back into this game. Joe Lombardi up against Sean Walsh. Halston with the man advantage for the next two minutes. Nice play by Simos to tip that one out. Simos racing up the ice to track down Heffernan. And Heffernan briefly lost the pass from De Cristofaro, which wasted some valuable time on the power play. Cam Jarrett trying to play keep away, but Sapinaro able to get there. On the near side, the blue line, there's a shot, and that nearly went in. But Dylan Brand was just able to cover up to five hole. That yeah, he, shot was from D. Cristofaro, the captain. He was lucky to see that one through. Uh, Mollison had a player right in front and kind of skipped through his legs. Brand, a nice save there. But down low enough. Walsh up against Farrell. Minute 28 left on the power play for Hollison. Good first shot here, turned away by Walsh. Heffernan with possession. And there's a beauty of a shot, but that's turned away by Jared, who was right in front of it. Balowitz was trying to sneak it in. Jammed up along the far side is Simos, but he's able to sneak away and knock the puck up the ice. Simos has been real effective on the penalty kill tonight. He's made some really great plays getting that puck out of the hill or in today. He certainly has. And there's a shot that's wrapped up by Quattrimoni, 53 seconds left on the power play. Thirteen eighteen left to go in the third period. One nothing Hillers lead. And Hollison with the man advantage for the next 50 seconds and counting. Around the net to the near side, Heffernan picks it up. Racing up. He comes up the near side. Weinstock gets in his way. Throwed him right off the puck. They didn't get many room to operate. Back down by Tommy Lab. 28 seconds left on the power play. Dan Kirk trying to steal it away. Weinstock just able to get the stick on it there. Sheamus knocks it over towards Kirk. Picked up by Heffernan. 
And that'll draw the icing. Well, Panthers just not taking advantage of this power play, Tom. They're just throwing the puck away. They need to do a better job of controlling it. They want to get back in this game. They've got to use this man advantage. Yeah, they just seem to be having a tough time getting any kind of momentum going. Joe Lombardi up against Steve Simos. Now it'll be Walsh. Tracked down in the corner by Lombardi. Simos gets in there, trying to take it away from Sapanaro. Now it's just jammed up along the wall. We'll do it on the power play. Glyden is trying to sneak it into the slot. Now here comes Lombardi. And it's immediately diverted. Back to the Halston zone we go. Simos with possession. And he's able to get it over to Walsh. And Walsh is trying to feed Hamblet. Jarrett with the pass over to Glyden. Glyden lifts that one. Some good defensive work by Holliston, but they have not been able to really get any pressure on the Hillers. Let's see if they can here. Sapanara up the far side, and he'll take a bit of a hit there. Walsh yeah. with the puck. Hamlet with a great back check. Walsh racing up the ice. Here he comes. Into the circle, a shot wide to the left. Simos up along the far side with Hamlet. Jarrett will track it down into the neutral zone. And we're going to have a whistle here, offsides. The Panthers seem like they're having a lot more trouble this period getting it going. Second period, they have put together a few good rushes, but they're just not able to connect on their passes and get any offense generated here. Hillers might have taken their energy away, Eric. Here comes Holliston. Schneelock looking for a break. Nice move there, there's a shot wide to the left. Along the near side. Sheamus was trying to sneak away with it, but now Weinstock has it. Pokes it off the boards. Jammed up. Along the end boards now, here comes Schneelock. Comes up with Sheamus. Sheamus able to knock it away. Kirk, Weinstock. Puts it back into Holliston territory. Rogers gets in there. Rogers trying to sneak it around. Sheamus, top of the circle. That's turned away. Good shot there. He was looking to go glove side. But Quattromoni able to get the leg pad down. And now we're going to have a save by Dylan Brand. A good puck movement there. The Hillers went to their bread and butter, the dump and chase. Good work by the forwards getting that puck back out to the defense and getting a good shot on net. 10 minutes, 30 seconds left to go in this game. Hillers one, Halston nothing. Sean Walsh up against Robbie Sapanaro. There's a shot there and it's covered up by Brand. Good shot by Lombardi. Back to the blue line, turned away. There's Heffernan looking for a shot. Now here comes the Hillers, Hamlet racing in. Hamlet trying to find Walsh and it just got away. Gary comes up with it and it's taken back by Hamlet. We'll poke it off the near side boards. Walsh with possession now and he's able to feed Simos and Simos was trying to backhand that one in but it's wrapped up by Quattrimoni. He didn't get the velocity on that shot he wanted. Yeah, Hill is attacking with speed now. The first rush here, the Panther defenseman just got enough of a stick on it so that that puck couldn't get over to Walsh. Clock stopped at 10.04. Jake Connors in on the faceoff for Hopkinton. Actually, that was Rogers, excuse me. I know, that was Connors. Sometimes when the jersey's folded up in the back, it doesn't help. Glyden. Turned away. They got the Ray Bork tuck in. Not a fan <laughs> from a broadcasting perspective. <laughs> Quinlan trying to track it down. Christopher gets the stick on it. Over to the near side it goes. Coming up is Schneelot. Pass over to Balowitz. And it's taken by Glyden. 
Gliding along the corner. Back to the neutral zone. Racing in is Connors. And they're like not the hell is going to be down a man again. Oh, hooking, I think, again. Yep. Oh, boy. That's the last thing you want if you're Hopkinson right now, trying to grab the W. It'll be Jake Connors heading to the penalty box. And we'll have a face off in the Hiller zone. 9.13 left to go in regulation. Hollison on the power play for the next two minutes. Knock up the ice there. And that is going to stay in play. Here comes the Panthers up the far side. That's Gary. Samuel's trying to race in there and will knock it against the far side boards. There's a shot, and it's out in front. Brand has to cover it up. It was off the stick of Hefferton. Great shot by Hefferton. Yeah, kind of a strange rebound bounce, too. Grant did a good job controlling it, knocking it down. 135 left to go on the Holson power play. Simos up against Farrell. Hefferton with the pass over, and that shot turned away off the stick of De Cristofaro. It's out in front, and Sheamus able to knock it away. Nice job by Sheamus there. One fifteen and counting left to go on the power play. Alston trying to attack once again. Here comes De Cristofaro. Diverted by Simos. Jarrett gets the stick on it. Back to the blue line. Heffernan trying to pass it up over to Farrell. Here comes Heffernan racing in. And that was... Sheamus looking for the box out in front, and it's turned away. Walsh with possession. Walsh racing up the ice. Here he comes. Up the far side, looking for a shot here out in front and trying to jam it in. And a great save by Quattromoni. Nico Quattromoni staying cool under the pressure, able to turn that one away. Speed of Walsh. He looked like he was going to duck inside, but with his speed, he was able to keep it outside. And Brand turns that one away. The goaltending for both teams. This evening has been fantastic. De Cristofaro with possession for Holliston. 20 seconds left on the Panthers' power play. Up behind the net, Kirk got the stick on it. Now here's Heffernan trying to turn it around. Heffernan meets up with Weinstock. Weinstock tripped up a little bit, five seconds left on the power play. Sapanaro's turned around. Here comes Dan Kirk racing in. Kirk with some great stick work there. Into the circle he goes. And he leaves it behind. That was a nice job by Kirk. Outstanding effort there. He just fought his way through to make sure he got that puck out and in the other zone. A pass up over to Rogers from Gilbert. And there's a shot. Out in front. Kirk trying to jam it in and it's turned away. Rogers. Along the near side. Pulled down by Simos. There's a shot. And it is just a little bit wide. Now Glyden tracks it down. But here comes Halston. That went off the skate of Kirk, off the stick of Gone. 6.20 and counting left to go in regulation. Or in the game for that matter. Both teams getting some good chances in this period. A little back and forth. They certainly are. And there is a cover up there by Quattromoni off a Rogers shot. Another face off in the Halston zone. Well, the Hillers, I think, uh, were absolutely fantastic on the power play so far. When it's uh, going in the other team's direction. Walsh back to Saperoshitz. Puts it around the end boards. Hamlet gets there, Walsh with the stick on it. Race it up the far side now is Farrell. 
And Farrell's looking to break away there, but Saperosius had something to say about that. And I think he's going to go for yeah. interference. That is not what you want if you're Hopkinson. Kind of playing with fire here, giving the Panthers a few too many opportunities in this third period. In one goal game. Well, another two minutes of a man advantage for Holliston. Can the Hillers burn off a fourth power play? Third of this period. Simos up against Farrell. Along the far side, over to De Cristofaro. There's a shot turned away by Brand. It's a nice setup there by De Cristofaro for the Farrell shot. Here comes Walsh. Walsh racing in. Wide open ice in front of him, but can't sneak it in. What another great save by Quattrimoni. He did draw a penalty, though, so that'll even it back up. His speed. And that is a big break for the Hillers, I'd say. Yeah, that was the only opportunity Hollison had to try and stop was to get a slash on him, try to break the puck up. Well, the Hillers have had 43 shots on goal, according to the scoreboard, compared to Holliston's 14. But it is only a 1-0 game. And I think that says a lot about the goaltending today of Nico Quattrimoni. Cooper D. Cristofaro in the box for Holliston. So we're back at even strength. Along the near side. Balowitz racing in. Here he comes, we'll meet up with Jarrett. And Jarrett getting physical behind the net. There's some pushing there with Farrell. Paulson trying to establish an attack. Now he'll just get control. He should have the advantage with the speed of Simos and Walsh out there. Four and four, a lot of open ice. And Hillers will have the man advantage in another minute and seven seconds of counting. Here comes Rogers. Rogers. Leaves it in the slot, but no one's there. Farrell. Bangs it off the boards for Allison. Walsh with the backhander, and it's turned away by Quattrimoni. Quattrimoni wasn't ready for that one, but somehow was able to get the save. Unbelievable. Rogers jammed up with Sapinaro. Here comes Walsh. Walsh racing in. And Lab making contact with Walsh there. Heffern in along the corner. Here comes Hallison, Lombardi with the pass up to Sapinaro. Out in front, and Brandt is forced to cover up. One thing the Hill has got to be careful here, Tom, is just uh, dial the emotion back a little bit in a one goal game. It's physicality is really picking up, and they just want to make sure they don't get in the, uh, the penalty blocks again here after fighting off that last penalty. Right. Keep it in check and just play your game. You'll get a one nothing game here. Keep the puck down Hallison's end and just limit their chances. I'd say there's been times, too, where uh, they let the emotions get the best of them. But of course, in this sport, it's tough not to. It is. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> I'm sure it happens to everyone at some point that plays. Here comes Rogers. Turned away. Must be frustrating, too, when you get all these great shots that the Hillers have. But the goaltending of Quattrimoni holds you to one goal. There's oh. a shot there, and Brand wraps it up. And that was a wrister by Lombardi. Three on one. Great save by Brand. Hillers with the man advantage for the next 16 seconds. 335 and counting. Left to go in the third period. Here comes Sheamus. Sheamus. Now the defender trying to sneak it in. He'll hold on to it. Comes along the near side. And trying to pop it over to the slot to Kirk. And there's a shot turned away off the stick of Hamlet. A secondary shot by Kirk turned away. Two great saves there. Quashramoni is unbelievable. I think uh, this has to be the main guy in net for Hollison for the remainder of the season. Unbelievable day he is having. He is single-handedly keeping Hollison in this game. He's also a pretty big goaltender, so he takes up a lot of the net along with being acrobatic. Right. Here comes Hollison. Along the near side, that's Dutcher. Hopkinson trying to turn around. Walsh. Trying to establish control. It's taken back by Schneelock. Approaching two and a half minutes. Schneelock looking for a shot here. He's tripped up. 
And the slow roller is covered up by Brand. 2.28 left to go. The hill is doing a little bit too much reach in there. They gotta take the body. You wanna make sure you get that man angled out. Let your other back checker pick up the puck. I'll tell you what, Eric, I didn't expect today to, it was gonna be a one nothing game with 2.28 left to go in the third period. Yeah, when you get these rivals, you never know what's gonna happen. Even with what the records say the score should be, you get two teams that know each other and play against each other. You never know what's gonna happen. And Jared up against the against uh, Farrell will have a whistle right off the faceoff. Always have that little extra incentive from being on the same team growing up. Yeah, these uh, players certainly know each other well. And a lot of them know each other from other sports also. Here comes Walsh. Walsh looking for a shot. Turn away. Puck loose out in front, picked up by Schneelock, and now stolen back, and Simos wide to the right. Gilbert, pass over, and Walsh trying to sneak it in, and another tremendous save by Quattromoni. And up over the 40 shot total now. Quattromoni is having himself a day, and if somehow Holliston is able to tie this up and get a point, Nico Quattromoni is the player of the game. Sapinaro on the far side, Walsh bangs it off the boards. Amblitz tripped up, leaves it behind for Walsh. Now back to Gilbert, there's a shot there off the glove of Quattromoni. That's a great effort by Hamlin on the ice, still getting control of that puck. 145 and counting left to go. Far away shot there by Jarrett, some good power, but wide to the left. Amblet race again. And now with possession of Lombardi. There's Simos speeding up with Lombardi. Out in front and wrapped up by Quattromoni. I don't even think Hamblet saw that roll right in front of him. Clock Pant stopped at a minute 30. Panther's going to have to start looking here now about pulling the goalie once they get it down to Hiller's end. So Hiller's want to try to keep that puck down here as long as they can, keep him in the net. Problem for Halston though, they haven't been able to really establish any kind of control in the Hiller's end, unless they've been on the power play. There's a shot here, wide to the right. Up along the near side, here comes Holliston. Schneelock racing in, he's turned away. Rogers with the knock back, and now Panthers with a shot opportunity here, it's diverted. Jackson gone, should have took that shot a lot earlier. And now here comes Rogers over to Kirk, and he just missed him. A minute left to go. Around the net, Weinstock. He's trying to poke it up to Glide. There's Saperoshitz from the high slot, and that's put out of play. Yep, Rogers got a stick on it. Tip, just went a little high. Clock stopped at 53.9. Surprised the Panthers aren't using a timeout here either. Miller's bringing the first line back out there. No likely uh, finish out this game. Looks like they're gonna use their timeout now. So Holliston going to take a timeout. 53.9 seconds left to go. The Hiller is out shooting Holliston 44 to 15. But it's a one nothing game. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hiller's Boys Bar City Hockey on HCAN. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. Welcome back into the New England Sports Center. Off the timeout, 53.9 seconds left to go in this game. A 1-0 lead for the Hillers. We're at even strength and a face-off in the neutral zone off the Holliston timeout. Big face-off win there for the Hillers. Tommy Lab gets the stick on it over to Walsh, looking for Hamlet. Hillers would still love another goal. I think whenever they're playing uh, one of their close TVL rivals like Holliston or Ashland, they just want to rack up some as many goals as possible. Simos jammed up behind the net. Less than 30 seconds left to go. 
Playing keep away are the Hillers. Holliston trying to establish one last attack. Simos gets the stick on it. Hamlet with the shot and a glove save by Quattromoni. Uh, Hillers picked a good time to really have a great forecheck out there. They effectively killed off 30 seconds alone right there with that face-off win and keeping Holliston in their own end. Now shot number 50 for the Hillers too. 16.3 seconds left to go. Walsh up against Lombardi. Halston has not had an opportunity to pull their goalie. Tommy Lab up the far side. Knocked down by Gilbert. Around the boards it goes. Naya picks it up along the near side. Pokes it forward. Hamlet leaves it out in front over towards Walsh and that'll do it. The Hopkinton Hillers are going to hang on and take the one to nothing victory over the Halston Panthers. Eric, it was a defensive physical battle out there, but I'd say uh, with the way Nico Quattromoni played in net, this was a great win by Hopkinton. Yeah, yeah I mean, the Hill has definitely had the effort there. Uh, they, they ran into a real hot goaltender, and there's gonna be games where you gotta just grit it out, and this is one of those games, and you pick up a, an important two points, uh, an inch and closer to uh, a playoff berth. Well, the Hopkinton Hillers improved to eight wins, two losses, two ties, 18 points overall. Allison falls to one win, eight losses, and three ties on the season. The Hillers defeat Holliston by a final score of one to nothing. For John Ritz on camera, my broadcast partner, Eric Carty, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.